Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Guvis. This is the Guvis Light S, which is a 3D a personal cinema headset. You can check it out on Guvis's website, and I'll have their a link in the description as usual so that you can go down there and check it out. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, let's unbox the Light S from Guvis. This is not a virtual reality headset. This is more of a personal cinema uh, that is capable of 4K. It's capable of uh, 3D playback as well. So if you have 3D files that you want to play back on, say, a Plex server or something like that, it will uh, do very well. Now, you do have uh, diopter adjustments on the bottom uh, and is uh, for your pupil distance and all of that as well. Uh, so you do have all of that on the bottom of the unit. Uh, now the D3 that they sent me, this is a portable media player. It's an a, a Android based TV box basically for portable play. And we'll get into that in the review as well. Now, as far as the headset goes, you can see on the right hand side, I have some specifications here. It's a very lightweight headset. It does have two uh, AMOLED displays that are 1080p uh, per display. Uh, the PPI is 4,496, which makes this insanely crisp and clear. Uh, very, very high PPI on this. Now, the PPD is also 53. Uh, you have that diopter adjustment on the bottom here, uh, and you can see that the IPD is also adjusted there as well. You can push in or out, and then you can dial in as well for clarity. Uh, your IPD will go from 56 millimeters to 72 two millimeters, so it, you can pretty much adjust per eye. Now on the right hand side, you have a 3D and a 2D button. So when you're watching 3D movies, you can switch that. On the left, you have a uh, uh, brightness up and down uh, just right on the headset. So that helps uh, pretty quickly when you're viewing media. So what else do they give you in the box here? Uh, they do give you a, a head strap. Uh, this is a leather and kind of a stretchy material as well. Super lightweight and very comfortable to wear. I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. Uh, they do give you a an extension cable here. This is an HDMI uh, to uh, HDMI extension cable. This is for when you want to hook up to something that isn't the, the media player, the portable media player. If you want to hook up like maybe a PC, you'll go uh, HDMI in and USB to supply power to the headset. Now the portable media player that they sent me, uh, you don't need that because it automatically supplies power for you. Uh, but you could also use that e extension cable to hook up to a gaming console and then be gaming on a huge screen uh, at uh, great resolutions. They also give you a, a st quick start guide here that has a lot of really good information in it. So hold on to that for reference. Uh, but overall, uh, I didn't have any problems setting this up myself. Uh, again, you'll have their website linked in the description below if you should need any Thing that I forget here. So wearing these is, is super comfortable. They're very lightweight. I did enjoy, uh, I could sit through a movie with these for, uh, you know, two hours and not really feel any fatigue uh, on my head or uh, over my eyes or anything like that. They did a really good job on keeping the weight down on these. And I didn't notice any light bleed that would come in from the back as well, uh, which on some headsets is a problem, but not for this headset. Uh, Guvis did a good job on this, it's super uh, comfortable around. Uh, most of the weight is distributed right at your forehead there. But again, no problems uh, with watching something for a couple hours even without having any problems. No fogging issues or anything like that either. Uh, so overall, good design, very comfortable and lightweight from Guvis. So what if you don't want to hook up to your PC or you don't want to hook up to your uh, say your uh, console, your gaming console, you can use something like this, which is the D3 Portable Media Player from Guvis. And this is basically an Android TV box that is 4K capable, uh, 3D playback capable. Uh, it's got a full access to the Google Play Store, so you can install pretty much any app that you want there. Comes with a, a built-in battery, built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Bluetooth, uh, and is uh, rechargeable by a, a standard USB Type-C cable. 
So you can get uh, about four to five hours on one charge with this. So you can definitely get through a couple movies on this on the go. And uh, the beauty of it is you just need the headset and the D3, and you'll be able to watch uh, media wherever you want. So this is a pretty cool portable solution from Guvis that they do bundle together in certain packages on their website. Uh, the front of this is a touchpad. So in Android, of course, you're going to have a mouse uh, so you can use that right there. Uh, you do have your back, your home, and your menu buttons, just like in any Android device, uh, and up and down for volume and adjusting. And then you have a full uh, toggle here with uh, your power button on the left. Now on the right hand side, you're gonna have four LEDs at the bottom. Those are gonna be for battery 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. And the top one is gonna be for your Wi-Fi so you'll know whether you're connected to Wi-Fi or not just at a glance. It's a very compact uh, for what it does. On the left hand side, you can see that we have a micro SD card slot. Now inside this, you do get 32 gigabytes minus the Android operating system. So you get about 26, 27 gigabytes of storage. So you can store files for local playback. But on the bottom here, you have your uh, plugin for HDMI, but you also have a full USB port as well. So you can hook up a uh, USB disk drive, uh, or you can hook up a, uh, a mouse if you wanted to, or a keyboard or whatever you want to that, and it'll work right through Android. Uh, so on the top, you do have a, a nice uh, setup here for its venting and also a your charge port for that is the USB type C connection. So this is a really cool package to have, and I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like when it's running uh, so that you guys can see what you can do with this on the go. Okay, so this is what the D3 Media Player looks like when you're uh, on it, on the main menu. Uh, and you can see that I've got that touch pad going, uh, so I get a, uh, a mouse pointer and everything. And again, this is basically a, a an Android TV box in the palm of your hand. You can put this in your pocket. Uh, it only has a one cord that needs to go to it because it supplies power to the headset. Uh, so uh, you just have to plug in your HDMI and go as long as you have a wireless connection, you're good to go. Now this also has Bluetooth in it as well, uh, so you can hook up um, uh, Bluetooth earbuds or you can hook up a controller uh, for playing games. And the option to add a Bluetooth controller is awesome uh, because you have full access to the Play Store, so you can put games on this as well. Now looking at the quick settings, we can quickly adjust Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the touchpad, and the fan speed. There is a little fan in the D3, uh, it, but it's whisper quiet. I, I didn't have any problems with that bothering me at all. You can check your internal and external storage here as well. And you can see that I have 7.8% used. I've got about 24 gigabytes of storage left on the device. Now if we go to online video, this will take us by default straight to Netflix, which is a, a good choice for me since I have Netflix uh, and works very well with this device, uh, giving you full access to Netflix so that you can watch any uh, movie or TV uh, show that you would like to on a gigantic screen, which is of course always a bonus. Now, if we do uh, go on to local video, you can check your internal, uh, your TF, which is SD card slot or USB for uh, local files as well. Now you can pin apps here. And of course I pinned the Google Play Store. Since we have a full setup here for the Google Play Store, that means we can install anything that's on the Google Play Store, such as streaming apps, uh, games, again, with Bluetooth, we can hook up a Bluetooth or a USB controller and play games on a gigantic screen as well. So overall, very, very nice. If we go into more apps, you'll see all the apps that you do have installed. Uh, and you can see that uh, I have uh, several apps in this page installed uh, like uh, Netflix, Plex, which is awesome. Uh, I've got a 3D rip of Avengers Endgame that I did on Plex that's a side-by-side -side, uh, 3D movie, and I watched that in 1080p, and it was excellent. The D3 player had no problems uh, transcoding that file from my Plex server and uh, playing that for me, no problem. So if you are uh, someone who has Plex, uh, this is definitely a bonus as well. Plex is one of those uh, options, uh, especially with this, where you can 
connect via Wi-Fi pretty much anywhere in the world, watch whatever movies you want to watch. And again, if you have uh, files that are 3D, uh, it'll do side by side, it'll do uh, top over bottom, uh, it will do uh, several different uh, files here, uh, again, for 3D movies, which just makes this a really awesome uh, setup for watching that. Of course, you have access to YouTube, so you'll be able to watch uh, millions of different videos. Uh, this isn't as crisp as you would notice it on the headset, but it is cool to have access to all the apps that uh, Android will allow you to uh, get on this and then be able to watch it on a very large screen. So who is this for? Well, this is for somebody that really likes to consume media. If you like to watch movies, either it being streaming or if you like to, uh, you know, do things like that, maybe you have a Plex server at home, then this headset is going to make that watching experience uh, 10 times better than if you were to watch this on a regular TV. You're getting a really, really crisp, clean display with those two OLED panels uh, with that high PPI makes the images just super crisp and clear. Uh, the headset is definitely light enough that you can wear it for you know a few hours and not get any fatigue out of it. So media consumption is definitely number one. Now the fact that you can hook this up to say a PlayStation or an Xbox and play games on a gigantic screen also makes this experience a lot better as well. So there you go, that's my review of the Guvis Light S Personal 3D Cinema. You can check it out on Guvis's website. Again, you'll have that link in the description below. This is a great lightweight headset with awesome resolution that is going to change the way you watch movies, consume media, and play video games. Uh, the, overall, I'm very impressed, and I'm definitely going to give this one a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this device, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so, because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.